So let's go over how to create a VDM brush within ZBrush for iPad. So a VDM brush, it's kind of like any brush with the drag rect and an alpha, but the alpha has undercuts. So what I mean by this is if we go to our standard brush and select the drag rect stroke, if we have, let's say, an alpha like this, there's never going to be any undercuts. It's just up and down. It's just pushing the points based on this image over here up or down. If for some reason we wanted something like this, let's go to our chisel brushes, chisel 3D. This is a brush that has multiple different alphas and you can see it's an alpha, but these alphas have undercuts. So if I start sculpting that and let me just divide this a little bit more or raise that dynamesh resolution a little bit more. And if we start dragging this out, you can see that there's like information underneath that. So it's not really just pushing the points up and down. So with this mouth, for example, there's actual information inside the mouth and not just the surface level. Now, how do you create a brush that has an assortment of alphas like this? So the first thing you need to do, you need to go into your tool palette and start from a plain 3D. Now, once you have that plain 3D, it's important to note that you can't really change the topology on this plane. So all you can do is divide up or go up and down the subdivision levels, but you can't really dynamesh this. You can't Sculptress Pro this because VDMs are gonna look at that point order in order to generate that alpha. So what we need to do is actually start by subdividing this. And obviously if I start subdividing, you can see like the edges are gonna be rounded out. And if you don't want that, you can actually just divide this without the smooth button on. But if for some reason you've divided this and you didn't notice, and now you're sculpting something, you're like, you have undercuts over there and you're like, okay, I just noticed that I have these round corners. So what you can do is go over to your masking sub palette and then just mask by feature, turn everything off except border. And I'm masking that border. And now what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go to deformation. I'm gonna flip that mask. And under deformation, I'm gonna morph to grid. If I morph this to grid like 100%, it's going to go and match that grid again. And again, I can just smooth out those edges now. So now all I need to do is have a already available chisel brush selected. So I can have this chisel 3D active and then go to my settings. I can create a multi alpha brush. And now what happens is I have that VDM ability of just sculpting that. And you can see we have the undercut anyway. So it's not just really a regular alpha. It's more of like, think of it as a 3D alpha. So this is how to create VDM brushes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.